uh, hello and welcome to my next uh, speed painting um, that I'm doing a commentary. Um, this is another one for the Sketch Daily and the theme was puppets and puppeteers so um, I decided to go with the uh, legendary TD. I um, remember watching quite a bit as a kid. Um, Strassman and Kitty. Um, Chucky, although I haven't um, painted Chucky here. Um, started out just by um, sketching in. Uh, um, just getting his head in here. Um, it sped out quite quickly this one because it was quite a long painting. Uh, it took me 30 minutes to do it, so I sped it up four times. It drops it back down to about eight minutes. So you're yeah, just getting his neck in there and um, starting off with uh, yeah, this is his hand beginning in there. Um, I went with better reference, of course, for this. I just had a quick search for Google for uh, TD and I found a picture of them stressing on TD that I was happy with. Uh, that's the start of TD being drawn there. It's his ear actually um, appearing. Just building it up. I've got predefined colours. Um, you can see in the background at the bottom left hand corner there some colours. And it's colours that I decided to use before um, starting this painting, so I didn't have to muck around deciding while I was recording. Uh, works better that way. Here's his, his nose and eyes are in. Just keeping main shapes down for now. I did a resize because I was working pretty big with it and needed to um, drop it down in size in order to put it in. I could have increased the canvas size, but uh, I'm used to scaling down. I guess it's because of um, it causes the brush to become bigger. So I get a very actually that's that's not a problem now because I'm using um, different size brushes depending on the uh, stroke we. That doesn't matter so much. But that that made a big difference when I was working with the pen pressure, just for um, transparency. But now that I'm working quite a bit with the pen pressure on the size, it doesn't affect it so much. So I'm getting this more variation on line. Like you can see there, I've got quite a quite a thin line, but the harder I push the thicker the line. Here I'm just sizing back down again. I make a bit of a screw up there because I'm working on two layers with it, so I'm like, ah, what am I doing, ah, so just go back to that, and, um, what do I do instead, I just, I am just looking at, deciding on colours now, so, yeah, going into colours, I was going to increase it and put more information in, but I was having trouble with double layers, and I, I maybe should have, uh, like, uh, Merge those layers together and resize it then, but I just decided to just leave it as it was and go on with colour. I was actually really tired when I painted this. Um, it was, uh, I hadn't slept very well the night before, so I, yeah, I was in the, the best of our modes when, when doing this. That's why I, I never put a blog post at the same time. When I uploaded it to Sketch Daily, I just decided just to, just to upload it as it was and, um, not um, not do a blog post. Um, I'll, just, I'll I'll do a blog post when uh, when I publish this the interviews and stuff. But that won't be until later tonight. Um, got um, the bus bus is leaving in um, just one hour and ten minutes. So I've got to get up soon and get ready. It's um yeah, it's good to go back to TLC just to see everyone. Yeah, I'm just going in with the lighter blue. Um, this is all those predetermined colours that I chose before. I basically went, went with the primary colours, one light, one dark. That's a colour scheme I'd quite like to explore more, maybe. I explored it a lot with my, um, my acrylic painting, certainly. Uh, maybe with just primary colours and light and dark. And just to um, get different effects and stuff like that, so, yes, oh, tabbed off the Facebook for a moment, I had a bit of 
should cut that off probably. But I'm not going to because it will screw up this one each. I don't really want to record this commentary again now. Uh, I've started on the red. The opacity is set to 70% so it's quite high. I've also, when I've gone in with this red, I've chosen to go in with a different type of um, brushes. It's much, um, as you can see by the brush, it's a much thinner, longer brush. Um, much different type of stroke it, it causes. It. I really like experimenting with different uh, brushes. I think it's been, it's been a lot of fun looking digitally and having access to all these different brushes. Um, normally when I'm working with like traditional like acrylic or oil paint, oh, excuse me, um, I'll be working just with um, a large flat brush, which uh, quite similar to this kind of brush. Uh, okay, yeah, just working, always working with a uh, so important to work with, going in with that, that lighter I thought it's a pink really now, isn't it? I read it. I'm pretty happy with this how it came out. It's quite nice for something quite loose and free, especially how tired I was with it. I wish I'd got it, um, looking at this now, I wish I'd got it more um, blues on um, Strassman on his clothes and stuff, because it's just reached there. I think it's kind of missing something that Teddy's got. But I'm, I really like his face. Here I'm going with the background, nice yellow. Contrasts really well. Um, I really love this brush, it does really, it looks really great. Okay, I'm getting in with more. This is actually almost finished. It's, um, So much quicker, speed up. It took me half an hour and otherwise, so it's cool watching this speed up. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll be sure to bring more out in the future. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll be quite happy to answer your questions and stuff. I like keeping quite a Playing background, um, I started exploring more detail in the background. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, thank you for watching. That's uh, 